Today we're going to talk about why compose a document. To start, I'd like you to think about a really long, complex document you've written and organized. Maybe it was a thesis or dissertation. Okay, are you thinking about a really long document from your past? Great. Now, take a moment to remember how you readied the document for your reader. How many times did you have to reread it to try and catch every last error? How many times did you have to go back and see how you did something earlier in the document so that you were sure to do it the same way later in the document? Did you ask a friend to take a look with fresh eyes? At some point, did you whisper scream at the computer when it auto-formatted something you did not want auto-formatted in that way? If you've worked on a really long document, let's say more than 100 pages, you probably have stories about the lengths you went to to try and ensure that the document was formatted correctly and consistently from the first page to the last page. They may not be fun stories. That's because no matter how detail-oriented we are, it's very difficult to rely on our eyes to edit a long, complex document line by line and be consistent. Now, let's imagine the long document you're working on is a textbook. A textbook includes instructional design elements that make the student experience structured and predictable so that the student can learn best. This, of course, also adds complexity to the document. Here's an example. The author of this textbook wanted key terms to appear in italics to help her students or his students identify them in context. Each section is also denoted by a bold colored header in green. These are two elements you may find in a textbook. Others you may see are things like chapters starting with bulleted introductions and ending with numbered reflective questions. There may be tables and figures throughout the book, as well as sidebars. These different pedagogical elements add complexity. There needs to be a methodology for managing these complex elements. Composing a document is that methodology. It gives the document structure. Structure tells the document what to do with those tables, whether the textbook is being rendered as a PDF or an EPUB or another file type. Composing means some more work up front for much less work later. It also means a beautiful polished product. So, why do we compose? We compose to structure a document and make it consistent. This helps us in editing, design, and production, and helps students in reading and learning. 